in previous videos we've introduced some very basic viewing and we've also explored the different scan data sets and we know which scans we know what to use to try and link together in our overall scan of the building. Now we need to start linking these together through the process of the registration. So if we right click on the project we can choose create registration and we get a new folder, a new folder with this sort of target symbol. We double click on that, we open the registration window. And our first step is to tell it which scans we want to use. So we could add all of the scan models we want. We're going to try together. Just now I'm just going to add the first two where targets were used for scanning and we're going to look at this without the other ones just now. So we have two scan worlds and we can actually preview the model spaces. And we can see the target shown here. So we can see these targets STA1. You can see I've actually got the same target point but viewed from quite a different angle. You can see we've got the same point. So let's join these two clouds into one. Because we use targets, we can choose to auto add constraints with target ID. It's also an icon that allows us to do it here from the menu bar. If we look at the constraint list now, this would have been empty a few seconds ago. It now lists a few different constraints. So we've got the targets that have been identified in both scans. So there may be additional targets that have been spotted in one or another, but it's just three here to try and merge them together. We then click register. After register we can auto add cloud constraints. And here it's going to tell us we've got an error of what's that um, one millimeter. It's quite good. And if we want to see the result of joining these two, now remember as a good example, we've got this big hole here in this set. And underneath where the scanners were in each of these two scans. Let's see what the result is of joining these two things. If we right click on the cloud constraint that appeared here, we can choose to view the interim results. And here we are, and we can actually immediately see one of the holes that was there has been filled in partly. Now, the reason it's only partly filled in is there is only one scanner worth of data providing points in this area, whereas the points around have got data from both scanners, so the data here is going to be a lot less dense than in the surrounding area. Okay, and so we can look around and we can see the same with the other point. So it looks like both scans have been registered. So if we want to actually compare the two scans to see the data that came from each of the two scans, we can, let's get this, we've got both holes in view. We can, using tools, scanner, Scan World Explorer, and um, we've got most of both scans. And one thing we can do here, for example, is we can apply the Scan World color to scans. And this is using a slightly different color for each set of data. So now we will find where we've got these two holes. One hole's only got dark blue dots, one's only got light blue dots, cyan dots. Most other places it kind of flips between the two because the density of dots is so much that you know just very minor changes in angles and you'll be looking at the dot from one of the scanners and or from the, the other one as they sort of hide behind each other. They're in very, very similar positions. And you can move your view around just to check your results are good from here. And we can close that. We don't need to save the temporary model space. We actually want to be able to use this and what we want to do is create a scan world and freeze the registration and empty 
mile space. And now if we return, this icon is magically changed. And now the registration is down here. And this is now actually a scan world. And it's reorganized everything accordingly. And you see this is the same sort of data set that existed before with this all sort of filled in with one of the sort of sets of data.